For anyone who didn't know, there was supposed to be a trial in regards to the shooting of Black Lives Matter activist Sasha Johnson on the 7th of March 2022. But surprisingly, the Crown Prosecution Service dropped the charges against the alleged four involved and the whole situation was quashed. The four were said to be Peckham gang members out of Zone 2 more specifically. Again, that is just alleged. But this now means that Sasha Johnson is still in hospital some nine months later, and there's been some updates, hence why I'm making this video. Of course, we did report on this story when it broke. So to catch anyone up with the story who might not be familiar with the case, and there has been some more information that has developed, on the 23rd of May 2021, a silent disco was taking place in the garden of a house located in Peckham. Just before 3am, four men in balaclavas, who were originally thought to be the four men standing on trial, had approached the house and discharged a weapon at guests. Sasha Johnson had been at the party as she was in a relationship with the oldest son of the family who lived at the property, and she was hit in the head. According to prosecutors, the wider background in the case hadn't been anything to do with Sasha's political activism, rather there'd been a falling out between people who lived at the house and whoever fired the gun. But the case against the four was conspiracy based on circumstantial evidence and there was no direct evidence identifying any of them. The core evidence came from contact with each other, phone data and their movements. This then led to the court case being quashed and the charges were dropped. According to the the prosecution, the case had been reviewed at the highest level before being dropped. The police have had a hard time investigating the case though because of the wall of silence that's came with it, but the family and police have urged anyone with information to come forward, even if it's anonymously, any information can help. The family have released this picture of Sasha lying in hospital to show the gravity of the situation at hand, and I'm guessing it's to appeal to people with information to come forward to help out. Sasha's family had this to say. When you heard the case against these four men had collapsed and there would be no criminal trial, what went through your mind? We wasn't shocked, as I said. Um, no, or surprise. And one of the only things that's kept us going is our faith. We were hurt, but we had to pull ourselves together because breaking now is not it. And we learned that it's not over. You know, this is a bump in the road. Are you confident you will get justice eventually? Yes, we will. We will get justice and Sasha will come and let us get justice. At the end of the day, this is someone's child, and to make things ten times worse, she's a mother to two children. This is two children who don't have their mother around, and now the potential case against the perpetrators has collapsed. I can't imagine what the family's going through right now, the little bit of justice, and I know it doesn't really make the situation any better, but the little bit of justice they could have had, that's been ripped off them. For now, anyway. Of course, if I do get any updates coming from this situation, as always, I will keep you guys posted on this one. For now, though, give the video a like for more crime-related content like this. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.